setting up the company and then getting the residence based on that would be a little bit more flexible uh, and will be a little bit more faster. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm visiting today Marcel. Hi Marcel, how are you? Hi Denise, I'm fine. How are you? I'm uh, good as well. So uh, Marcel is the person to whom I'm always uh, referring my clients when they are asking me questions related to the company setup uh, in in Dubai. And uh, today I will ask a few questions, uh, so you will be able to get a better understanding about uh, this uh, process. Uh, Marcel, can you please say a few words about your your company and what you do uh, in Dubai? Sure, Denis. As you may know, uh, we are in the uh, corporate business. Uh, we are helping people to set up businesses. Uh, we're processing the residence visas. We are trying to help people find the right banking solutions and everything what is related to uh, business operations and administration. Uh, our company is uh, Garant Business Consultancy. We're in the local market since 2014, mm -hmm. uh, which means the last five years. Mm -hmm. And we've been uh, watching the market, uh, changing different policies and procedures, and we're always up to date with the new regulations. But there is one common question that I keep on receiving from my clients, and it's related to the visas. Okay. okay. So some of them are planning to buy a property and get an investor visa. And uh, there is always a solution to buy, uh, to make to open a company and, and, and get a visa as well. And as usual, I recommend them this option uh, because they have more flexibility with the visas and they will have as well a commercial uh, bank account. Uh, after that, I'm usually sending them your number. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, can you please uh, explain how does this process work and uh, what are the fees related to this? and uh, like uh, how long it takes to open a company as well and what are the options in the market. Sure. As you just mentioned, these are the uh, most common ways to obtain the residency in the UE, which is being an investor in the property, which okay. is worth uh, more than a million dirhams mm -hmm. or 350,000 US dollars. And the other way of getting the residence visa is uh, to set up a company and being uh, a shareholder of this company, obtain a residence visa. If we are talking about these two different options, of course, uh, setting up the company and then getting the residence based on that would be a little bit more flexible uh, and will be a little bit more faster. Uh, if we are talking about the budget, uh, we can say it, it may start from 11,000 US dollars, all inclusive, but you will be uh, uh, required to renew this company on yearly basis okay. and the renewal fees would be around 6,000 US dollars. Okay. So that's the general concept of having the company and the residence visa under that company. Mm -hmm. If we uh, if we are discussing the case of the property visa, yes, it's a little bit more complicated and uh, the fees would be slightly different as well. Uh, uh, the, the property should be, as just mentioned, uh, it should be worth more than a million dirhams. And, uh, uh, in that case, the uh, the time frame of processing visa will take around one month, mm -hmm. and the cost of that is roughly uh, seven and a half thousand dollars, and the visa is granted for two years. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the reasons why I'm suggesting to my clients to open a company and get the visa rather than obtaining an investor visa is because they will have a commercial bank account, and when you have a company, you can as well open a visa to the third parties. Because when you have an investor visa, you can open it only for your kids, for your wife, and uh, for your parents. You even can't open it for uh, for your brothers and sisters. Uh, so you said it, it will cost around eleven thousand to open and seven thousand to uh, for the renewal. That's correct. Uh, so let's say I paid eleven thousand. Uh, is, is it included uh, the entire package for visas or like? Uh, let's say I want to open a visa for my wife as well. How much do I need to pay extra for, for this? Yeah, thank you for this question. Uh, well, the budget of 11,000 US dollars uh, includes only the company license, uh, processing of one residence visa of the shareholder and opening a bank account mm -hmm. for the company. Now, if you want to, uh, to extend the visa to the family members, such as wife and children, mm -hmm. and those are the only close relatives that may obtain the visa being you as a sponsor. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, this will require some additional uh, budget and I would say it would be roughly uh, $2,200 to per person. Okay, and uh, every year I will have to pay this again, right? 
Uh, no, actually, every day you will have to pay the renewal fees for the company license. Because every year. Every year, mm-hmm. because this is uh, only for the 12 months. Mm-hmm. Every 12 months it should be extended. And the visa is granted for three years. Okay. So the visa renewal uh, should be done after three years from the initial date of stamping. I see, okay. And uh, uh, let's say if I will apply today and I will uh, provide the, the payment, how soon uh, I can get my... Uh, license and my visa? Well, technically speaking, company incorporation takes only three to four working days. Oh. It's quite a quick process, uh, but uh, the, the uh, residence visa processing time frame is about uh, two weeks, I can say, in general terms. So basically, in three weeks, we can say everything uh, can be That's correct. Uh, ready. Uh, what are some common mistakes that uh, you see that uh, people are doing when they are uh, opening the companies? to get the visa. Like, can you point some? Well, yeah, they, I think the, the most uh, common mistake they do is probably they are uh, not planning which jurisdiction they, they, they need to choose correctly. Mm-hmm. Uh, as we may know, there are more than 50 different jurisdictions across the UAE and all of them have different price structure, different policies and procedures. Uh, let's say if we are going for the most budget jurisdiction, it will be one of those in the Northern Emirates. Okay. And uh, if, uh, let's say, a client wants to come and uh, live in Dubai, for instance, and he wants to uh, he wants to go for the driving school in order to receive the driving license and everything, but having a residence visa from the Northern Emirates, it automatically makes him uh, compulsory to go and take the driving classes in that particular Emirate while mm-hmm. he's living in Dubai. So this is, I think, one of the most common um, issue that you that you need to look into and plan well. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see. And uh, is there a big difference in price between uh, opening a company in the Northern uh, Emirates, like Raspahema, I assume, Oh, oh my Kuwait, in Ras Al Khaimah, mm-hmm. Fujairah, yeah, Ajman, so this is all the northern part. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I got the question. Um, the budget will be, uh, yes, yeah, significantly higher if we're talking about Dubai options. Uh, for instance, uh, DMCC Free Zone uh, is budgeted as much as $22,000 for a common company setup and one residence visa. And the renewal costs will be approximately half of this amount. Mm -hmm. So if we compare uh, Northern Emirate option to Dubai option, Mm -hmm. it's just double. I see, understood. Um, So do you usually suggest uh, your clients to go for the uh, cheaper option, which is uh, like Northern uh, Emirates, am I right? Or there is a reason for for people who just need the visa to to pay more and get it uh, in Dubai? I, I got the point that you will need to have a, a, to go the driving school here as well. Uh, but uh, is this difference justified or not? Well, it depends. Uh, we of course uh, assess the goals and objectives of the client. If if let's say it's just only about the driving license. We can compromise on the option of uh, being registered in uh, Northern Emirate because it's just only a, a temporary requirement for you to go through the classes and everything. Because ultimately it's a, it's a long-term goal for three, four, maybe more years. If uh, a company needs real operations uh, along with uh, the purpose of serving the, the mm-hmm. residence visas, of course, mm-hmm. would always suggest to buy options because this is more sustainable. And from perspective of bank accounts, uh, it will be more uh, more secure because the Northern Emirates are uh, risking of not having a bank account at all. Understood. And is it possible to have a visa but not having a bank account? Uh, yes, it is possible. Uh, the, the yes, there are such cases. Uh, okay, Marcel, thank you so much for clarifying a few points related to the visa. And uh, guys, we will make one more video uh, about registering the property under the company's name. So you can find it uh, later on on this channel, or maybe it's already uh, uploaded. Thank you, Marcel. Thank you, Denise. Thank you.